So one of my subscribers reached out to me and sent me this clip and they wanted me to give my own personal take on it. And that's what I plan to do with this video. Now, before I begin, I want to make it clear that I have no issue with Jeff Durbin. I do believe him to be a solid brother in the faith who I do regard as a biblical teacher. Now, regarding Doug Wilson, okay, you should all know at this point where I stand with him. I think I made that quite clear. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to review parts of the full segment that stand out to me. The whole clip is about an hour long. So I'm going to do my best to compress it and shorten it to the most important parts that stand out to me. All right. <laughs> Ready to fight? No. <laughs> okay. We are wrestling. <laughs> All right. So, uh, so let's talk. So, um, should we force women to wax men's testicles? <laughs> Well, the first question someone might ask is this, is drinking alcohol biblical or can a true Christian drink beer? And those are great questions. And the answer is, you can't draw a straight line from drinking alcohol to not being a Christian because we are not saved by not drinking alcohol. We are saved by believing and trusting in Jesus Christ. So yeah, a true Christian can drink alcohol. Our Lord drank wine on various occasions, but it's not that simple. The real question is this, should a Christian drink alcohol? Let me repeat that. Should a Christian drink alcohol? I think that's a better question. We are warned in scripture not to get drunk, not to be drunk, Ephesians 5.18. And what Jeff Durbin just did in this clip is exactly why. Because it causes you to say and do stupid things that are not God honoring. Let me repeat what Jeff just said. He said, should we force women to wax men's testicles? Now the fact that he could say that with a straight face is most likely due to the fact that he had probably been drinking more beer than he should have before the airing of this segment. Now joking or not, that's a pretty immature and shameful thing to say as a Christian. Now if he were lost, him saying that would make sense but we need to have better discernment as Christians. Now, could you imagine the uproar if a Paul Washer or John MacArthur had said that on their platform? This here is exactly why I think this beer podcast was a bad idea, because alcohol lowers inhibitions and causes you to make bad decisions, to say things you can't take back. Another reason why it would probably be a good idea not to include beer is because the truth is we have brothers and sisters who have been saved out of alcoholism. Okay, Them having beer in this podcast could possibly be a stumbling block to someone watching it. So we need to be cautious in regards to what we do and say because it affects the people we're attempting to reach. And again, like I've said, I'm going to be cutting this up, splicing this up and reacting to the best bits. So stick with me in this. 